Actually, it's... Oh, oh, holy shit! Bah! G'day legends, how you going? Slaz here, and uh, still on that track. I kind of had to, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, I was lost last vlog. Um, I was, I was on the wrong bloody track, and I ended up going the wrong way. I found the right track now, and unfortunately it's full of bloody sand. Which sucks, because I hate sand so much. Anyways, what I have a chat is today, I'll go <laughs> just quickly though. I'll tell you a quick story about, um, we had some uh, volunteers come up and help us at school the other day for a swimming carnival. They called Curtin University student fucking oh sand. That's not no no not called sand. <laughs> um, they're called uh, whatever volunteers. Anyway, they come up there. They're obviously learning and they want uh, learning to be teachers or and counselor, whatever they want to learn about to do with kids. So they come up to the schools and um, help. Anyways, so this guy he's from Belgium, right? And I'm cooking the, cooking the sausages on the barbecue, and uh, they come over and like, can we help? I was like, yeah, yeah, no worries. And there was this young bird and this dude, and he's like, I was like, oh, we're starting to talk to him. Anyway, the pan, the, the plate of the barbecue is full of fat and oil, spitting and everything. And uh, when, when an Aussie goes, yeah, mate, chuck, chuck the snaggers on the barbie, it doesn't mean it literally ch chuck the sausages on the barbecue. Um, it's just a saying. <laughs> But he took it legit and uh, turned around <clears throat> and was standing probably about standing about a meter away from the barbecue, literally throwing the sausages onto the barbecue and uh, just splashing hot oil and fat everywhere. And I'm like, no, no, mate, just put them on, put them on. It's okay. Don't, don't literally throw them. Put them on. Just like putting, and he so starts putting them on, and it must have burned him. And, and <laughs> I walked away and I come back and he's. He's still there throwing them on. This sand is killing me. I tell you, this sand is killing me. Um, he's throwing them on, and um, I'm just like, oh, shaking my head. And he threw. Let's go this way. I know, I know that's where I got to go. But there's a water hole up here. I'll show you the water hole. Um, yeah. So he's still throwing them on, and he ended up burning himself on the young bird he was working with. Anyway, she spat the dummy through the through the tongs down in the barbecue and just left and walked away. So I ended up going and taking back over and, and doing it. Mind you, that's not my job. I'm actually the school gardener, not the school cook. But, you know, no no biggie. Anyway, that's not what I wanted to talk about. I just thought it'd be funny to... Oh, look at the big bastard. I just thought it'd be funny to tell you a bit of a funny little story, even though you just probably didn't even find that funny. But, um, anyways. Here we are. Well, we'll have a look at this water hole while I try to stop dribbling massive amounts of shite. Probably just about go for a swim in there actually, eh? I don't think I will though. I don't think I will. Now, what's that? I think there's a whole bunch of cows up there. Yeah, there is too. Now, if you guys remember, I told you it always happens when you don't have a camera and I got chased by a big bull. This was it here. This water wasn't full like this here. It was at, like pretty much empty. The bull was on this side here. My bike was parked down there because this was really boggy. Anyway, I've come down like this to look at the water. Gone, oh yeah, looks pretty shit out because there's all cow poo in it and that. And as I looked up, this this bull has just put his head. Could have been a cow. It had horns, so it'd have to be a bull. Put its head up and it's come walking down. I was like, okay. So I slowly started walking backwards. And yeah, I, I pooed myself. Anyway, he chased me all the way back to that trees line there. So those two trees. So you got these two here and then those two that are close. And I basically had my bike parked in the shade over there. And I got to my bike. He was still coming at me. But when I started my bike up, it made enough sound to kind of scare him off. But I tell you what, my bum hole was gone. It was, yeah, I was shitting myself. Somehow, look, there's tadpoles in here. wonder if I could go for a swim in here. Doesn't look too bad. Test how cold it is. Oh, get in the boots. Oh, she's a bit chilly. Oh, that's nice though. It's nice and refreshing. Very nice. Yes. You all came to watch my video to watch me wade in uh, water. In the outback. Grand. Grand. <laughs> oh, I'll keep riding. Anyways. 
the topic that I want to speak to you guys about. I should probably just stop telling all of the topic I want to talk about. Let's just get on with what I want to talk about anyways. Um, now guys, oh, god damn it, spiders, they're everywhere today. What the hell's going on with this? Look at this one. Look at this. Look at the size of him. He looks like, I'm going to eat some butterflies. Not really. Look at him. Can you see him there? Hate spiders so much. Hate them. Anyway, so, do you guys have a passion or, you know, if you could do any job in the world, any job, like it could be riding motorbike for a living or anything like that, I mean, I'd love to be able to ride a motorbike, motorbike, ride a motorbike and vlog and do videos and stuff like that, video editing on motocross and stuff, I'd love to do that. Will I probably ever do it? Probably not. Um, I can only do what I can with what I got and, you know, basically film myself. But anyways, I, I enjoy doing that. And I, I would love to be able to one day make that a full-time job. Ow. You know what I mean? Uh, that would... That was a big stick. That would be a dream job come true. Um... I also really enjoy taking photos. Now, uh, if you're friends with me on Facebook and that, um, you may very well have seen that I've just managed to get a hold of a place that can actually sell my photos for me, and I've actually just started to try and uh, sell my photos to the public. Uh, um, but I found this place, Fine Art America, and now they're really good. Uh, for a premium site, it's $30 a year. Now, that's awesome. It gives you your own little personal kind of website. It's not the best. It does the job, though. And um, they help market your photos. So you get put on like a... Um, what's it called? Featured photo. Every now and again, they'll feature one of your photos on their main main page. Whoa, what the hell's going on here? People obviously got bogged out here. Oh, and I just about fell off out here. There's a lot of mines just there now. I'm uh, staying away from them after I've been t I've been warned, uh, not only by my missus and my family, but I also got warned by a, a fellow rider who's told me uh, they're not really they're, they're def those ones are definitely not safe. Um, they were made back in the like early 1800s, so they're definitely not bloody safe at all. Look at that, not safe at all. But the big big ones, the one where I went down, it looked like a big canyon. Uh, he said that they're actually designed to after a while collapse so they fill themselves in kind of thing i think that's what you're getting at correct me if i am wrong <laughs> but i think that's what you're saying they, they're designed to collapse and the, with me going in it with my motorbike uh, there's a good chance that the, the uh, vibrations and the sounds of my motorbike could have set it off and you know rocks could have fall fell fall i got worst english eh? bloody hell what's with all this shitty fucking road man um so yeah so i totally got off topic <laughs> Like I always do, but uh, yeah. So, is there a job there? Is there something that you you would like? Say, for like for me, I I, like, I love taking photos. If I could get a job purely selling and taking photos for people, or uh, making videos, doing videography, or something like that, I would love that. I'd even love doing uh, design. Like I looked at doing a course for some uh, design courses to do 3D animations and. Um, graphics, like what I've been doing for people and, and all that kind of stuff, doing graphics and stuff. I really enjoy that. I'd love to be able to do that. So anyways, guys, that's it. Leave me some feedback down below on uh, on what you think. What, what would you like to be able to do as a job? The one thing, if you could go back, change everything and do something different, what would you do and what job would you do? <coughs> oh my God, I've really got to get this cough checked out. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave it there because the ride's going to get a bit boring after uh, here. It's going to get very sandy and I'm going to be driving very slowly because I hate it. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave some feedback down below with your comments. Uh, tell me what job you'd love to do. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot. I'll catch you next time. Cheers.